So Nicola says, I have a group co group coaching launch coming out for clinic owners struggling with burnout. I'm going to use a, are you showing signs of burnout quiz for lead gen? This will lead into a training short webinar. Question, where should I request the opt-in before the quiz, after the quiz to get their score? Any suggestions for making this flow would be great. So I did two scenarios. The second one is like really not traditional. The first one is like the traditional quiz funnel. Okay. So you've got the quiz. Then at the end of the quiz, hey, do you want to see your results? Opt in. Thank you page. On the thank you page, you can uh, mention the webinar. Then there's the email sequence that it takes them to the webinar page or to a sales page or whatever. But that, that's like the traditional thing, right? Or the other thing is you could actually just promote the webinar, okay? They opt in for this webinar. Sorry, let me turn off my phone. Um, they opt in for the webinar. Then on the thank you page, it's like, awesome, you're in for the webinar, um, you know, to make sure you're crystal clear before you ever get there. Why don't you take this quiz and let's see, you know, let's see where you are on the burnout spectrum. Then they go in the email sequence and it takes them again to the webinar or to a sales page or whatever. I think the best answer to this question is because you never, here's the thing, here is the thing. If the quiz is good and it keeps them engaged and, and, and they, you know, then they are going to opt in for the results and people are used to that format. But if the quiz isn't good, they're not going to opt in. So you want, so number one, you want to make the quiz good. Um, and in either scenario, whether you promote the webinar or the quiz, obviously putting a little bit of ad dollars behind, even if it's just $5 a day, is really going to increase your, um, your opt-ins. But people love a quiz. I love a quiz funnel. So number one, the top, the top scenario is the most common one. Um, and finally, I would say if you really are on the fence, you could just split test. So do, do one where they have to opt in for the results, one where they don't. So they could just get the results um, and then it takes them to a thank you page with the results for the webinar, get them to opt in for the webinar. Do you see what I mean? Are you here, Nicola? I am, yes. I do see what you mean. And I, I'm actually now leaning towards the second one because they only have to opt in once. Yeah, I like that too. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Uh, um, and both ways, either, I, I suppose the second way as well is going to help me um, segment segment the opt-ins because those that opt in for the webinar and take the quiz are higher intention, aren't they? They're really on the yes. bus. Yep. Good point. Uh, Love that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's got me. Yeah. Thank you.